Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe this channel. In previous video, we have learned how we can create a recycler view type of activity by using some static images and static text like this. And whenever we click on any particular text, we have the confirmation that we have clicked on that particular text. In this video, we are going to learn how we can fetch such kind of data from the internet using retrofit library. And in place of this image, we will image live image from the internet in place of the flag or the text here we will display the information about that image if you see on internet we have some api from github and this api we have that set of information that we can fetch in form of json so we are going to use here a retrofit library to fetch this login information and we have a avatar url that have a image of that particular person so with the help of this url we will fetch the image and with the help of login we will fetch the name of the person so these two information we want to display here here in place of these static images similarly we can fetch any number of data or any number of information from any particular url that is giving output in form of json so for retrofit we have to add some libraries so here i have added these library like we have this retrofit version 2.9.0 and we have a converter json converter that will convert the json library into kotlin format and we i also in, inserted one more dependency that is called coil this is new dependency and it used to convert the url into images so with the help of this dependency simply just by one line of code you can convert the url into images in last video i have explained you that how you can design this layout remember that we have a static images in drawable folder we have some information about this we have a data class here this data class we have two information image id and description and we have a greeting we have this uh, one row method here i design a card layout and under a card we have an image and text description and this is the remember image painter with the help of this function i just pass url here or any image from the drawable folder also so automatically it convert the url into the image okay so for that we need a library is called coil so if you will have the coil library then you will have this method remember image pointer compose method that will help to convert url into images now we have a greeting also in greeting we are passing this data class and one by one this data class passing information in a row row compose method and this row compose method is creating card one by one as per the record available and we are designing this this type of coding this whole coding we have seen in a previous video in which i explain you how you can create a recycler view in jetpack compose if you want to um, if you want to learn uh, these all thing i will add this information in a i tag from that first of all you should read this because if i if i will make it from the beginning the length of video will increase so i have divided into two parts so in first part i just explain how you can uh, create a recycler view on the basis of static images and text now same recycler view this recycler view same recycler view we are going to create but now data is coming from the internet on the basis of retrofit we are going to fetch the information 
so now first thing is that now uh, we have to make some modification also so here I have to make comment all these information I doesn't require this information because I want data from the internet so what I do now I need uh, one uh, information that I have to convert first of all this information into data class so I copy this and for converting this I have installed a plugin you, you also install the plugin so go to setting and uh, in setting we have a plugin and in plugin that is json to kotlin class converter so install this plugin i have installed this that's why after installation when you right click on this package and create new you have it information kotlin data class from json so create here just open this and copy paste and convert into array because it will display so many information so like this and give here name that uh, user uh, data user data you can give any name and click generate so automatically you will have the data class here you see this is the data class which we have automatically from this plugin and we have the all information those information available here in this format all the information is available in data user data item class here so we will use this class for fetching data now what we need we need uh, one interface also for retrofit so i just uh, here uh, create a new class new interface one new interface here and i give the interface that get user data so that interface we need and in this interface what i do i just add a base url so i say well base url and here i will pass the api that is here this json url for fetching data so here i pass this now i need here a function so i say that get retrofit http and in this get i have to pass the users so i will remove this from here so that is my base url and that is my extra url and here i will create a function so i say function get user info and uh, this function will return a call of user data like this so i have to insert this of retrofit like this now interface is ready now i have to implement this interface so i'm creating a object class and i say here uh, user uh, data and we can say user data instance we create class this is object class and here I create a variable of this interface so I say get user data and that would be uh, get user data interface like this and here uh, I create init block in this init block I will create here the retrofit retrofit equal to ret Retrofit dot builder then we have to add the base URL so base URL I just add here base URL then I have to add the JSON factory so I say JSON converter factory uh, dot create like this and now I should make it build build after build I have to create instance so I just create instant like get user data equal to retrofit dot create and here I will pass the interface class so we create here 
the instance of this interface with the help of this we will get this function and this function will return the retrofit object so this we have created and we have in inserted libraries also now go to main and here what i do uh, i doesn't uh, need this one because uh, we don't require now this data so i make it comment right now and now i go to uh, i go to here in this here i need some information so what i need i need uh, here uh, one variable for data uh, that would be of remember remember and here in remember i use mutable mutable state of and that would be of uh, user uh, data type like this user data type and here i will pass the object of user data for beginning the blank one and uh, that is done user data now uh, i need uh, the object of retrofit for find, finding the information so i say users equal to i say get, uh, get we say user data instance dot get user dot get user information so we will have this one here this user and we say users dot nq under this nq uh, what i do i need to call object and here i need to call callback and here i have to pass the user data that i have to fetch and now i need to do this and i have to insert the library also of retrofit callback and here i have to import uh, the two member function of retrofit one is on response and that is on failure so that is done so if we are failure we are not able to find the data then i have to call toast and application context here i say a t dot to string t dot to a string because we want to display the error message toast dot short duration and then i want to show the information similarly if if this is done then i have to create a user data a user data like this and with the help of response dot body i want to fetch data and if I want to check that user data not equal to null if it is not equal to null that means we get the data if we get the data then data dot value would be the user data like this so we pass the information in remember variable and this variable remember variable we have here so I change the value here so one by one this information will be fetch here and now i have to change the data type also so i go to this and here i have to pass uh, user data item one by one this item will pass here and here i need to write uh, dot avatar url because it's an image and here i have to pass the login because it's a name of the user so this i have to change here also i have to pass the login now data is changed you see i think everything is done we have changed the data we have passed the data and from the retrofit i am getting data so everything is done now i try to execute it and we will see that output will change in this application and we will have and we will have the data from the internet by using retrofit you can see that so simple so it is fail uh, it is showing error why it is showing error because we need 
uh, internet permission also if i will show you so i think it will ask for internet permission so i remove it once again i try to execute to find out the error and you see uh, it is saying that uh, fatal error uh, not need a internet permission so we have to go into the manifesto file and here in manifest file we have to ask for internet permission now re again again restart it and there is no error right now now we will have the information you see the information is coming from the internet and we have all the information live from the internet with the help of red to fit if you want to check you can check also that if we pass this url here this information if i type here you will see the image is of that person is coming so the same information you will have here the first information then later on you have all the information those are available on github library it is for testing library so i'm using that one so with the help of retrofit we have fetch the information and we display this information in recycler view so we created this recycler view with the help of lazy with the help of this lazy column and with the help of card here and row layout row and card layout so all these things i have explained in my previous video also how to fetch information from the static drawable folder and display it in a recycler view type of layout and in this video i have explained you how you can fetch live data from the internet with the help of retrofit you can see that it's a simple coding very simple way to fetch information so for a beginner or for a learner we are going to use such kind of coding to understand the concept of retrofit so i think you have learned something from this video if you really learn anything from this video please like share and subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.